I am off in the van, as you can see, down to Titchfield, where Julia is in her caravan. She's spending most of the summer holidays with the children down there. Um, and that's because obviously she's split up from her partner. And so I'm on my way down there now. And I believe the idea is for us to cook for her parents. She's parked up on her parents' driveway. So I think we're gonna do that. So I need to concentrate on driving, get down there as soon as I can. We'll go shopping and have a nice evening, hopefully. So let's concentrate on the journey. So, here we are, somewhere in Titchfield Common. I have arrived. And as yet, Julia hasn't heard me. I'm gonna get bombarded probably by Joe, so let's go and see what the situation is. Hang on, let's grab my phone, which has been on charge, shove that in the old pocket. It's, uh, half past three so I'm about on time which is great Julia's car's there Knock, knock. Oh, really? Hello. 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 Hello, Jojo. Don't crawl through there. Oh, blimey. Hello. How are you? You just busted the gate, have you? Oh, nice to see you. Oh, hello. Look, there's Julia right up there. And Julia's mum. Hello. Hello. Come on in. How are you then, young fella? Hello, mummy. Oh, well, that was that then. That was my hello. Hey, oi, mush. I'm here, look. Give Richard a hug. Come on in. Oh, blimey. You've been eating again. Non stop. Non stop little dragon. And here she is. Mm -hmm. Hello, lovely Julia. Hello, lovely. Mr. Oh, look at that. Tea. Oh, tea. Tea for the hard driving mm. man who's come all that way on all the very way. busy roads. Good to see you. Another kiss on camera. Sorry, look I don't have that. my face on yet. Oh, have you not got your face? So no, can't no. film her. Who is it? Who is mm. this weird woman? Oh, I don't know this one. Strange. <laughs> Anonymously. Clean. Oh, she's clean and she's been scrubbed. Oh, that's Sorry, good. Yeah. Cool. The tea is very hot. It's just been boiled. Uh, oh, brewed. Brewed. Boiled and brewed. Yeah, in it's fact. hot. Let me take that. Oh, she's taken the tea away. Jojo. Let me take it and let me How drink it. Jo? She says. Uh -huh. So Wouldn't how you doing? No sugar in it. Or oh, honey. Up. Are you doing all right? Yeah. Apart from this room. Apart from no, you look beautiful. <laughs> Jimmy, I, I just is. scrub off the mascara off my eyelids. Have you? I've got some. Um, have you? Re I've done it now. Have you recovered from our little um, jaunt? in yeah, yeah. the uh, countryside. Oh, yeah, I yeah, I have. <laughs> Helen You're hasn't. about the week, the week before. Yeah. <laughs> she hasn't recovered because you've just come back. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oi. With the little one. Oi. Oi. <laughs> and now I'm here to add to the trouble. Yeah. So what are we going to do? the worst one. I am probably the worst. <laughs> yes. He's the ringleader. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about ringleader, but never mind. Um, we're going to go to the shops and get some grub. Yeah. Is that the plan? Yep. Yep. And uh, see if we can subject your parents to our cooking. Yes. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Sounds fun. Yes, it's our, our infamous lemon chicken. We have this signature dish now. Yeah. 
that we no longer have to look up how to do it. Yay! <laughs> well, pasty and the fish for Tony. Yeah, ah. he doesn't like chicken. All oh, right, so Tony's not. He would eat turkey, though, wouldn't he? Nope, he wouldn't eat nope, turkey. He wouldn't eat turkey. Oh, it's just all white meat then. No, no well, that's poultry. all right. More for no, us. Poultry, yep, more for us. I have here. little secret stash of food. Let me come in here for a second. Whew, it's nice and warm in here. It's been a warm day everywhere. Let me just set up this little tripod and then I can talk to you a little, a little privately. We've just been to the shops to buy a few bits and bobs. And I bought some Marmite for the van. Do you like a bit of Marmite? And some butter, which is in the fridge, because I haven't had these for a long time. What are they? Crumpets. Well, I call them crumpets. Yeah, they are crumpets. Or well, my mum used to call them pike clicks, but I think pike clicks and crumpets are two different things. I really need to keep them, I think, in the fridge. But I'm going to have them for breakfast. So I should keep them wrapped up in a bag and in a cool place, perhaps in the cupboard here. Um, and the Marmite needs to find a home here. <coughs> I don't normally eat those sort of breaded things because I disagree with the um, mass-produced processing and all the extra horrible things in it. But every now and again, I think it's okay. I don't want to fall into the trap of buying regular processed food. I know, holier than thou and all of that. Right, I need to find some of the stuff that Julia left here and take it in then I think we're going to start cooking a very lovely lemon dinner for us and Julia's parents. The emphasis tonight is the lemon. Shh. Lemon, because we're going to have lemon chicken. Now this is a signature dish that Julia and I love. Mm -hmm. It's one of those, I think I cooked you this meal when we first started, we started seeing, each other. seeing each other. In a romantic way. And I said, come round my house, baby, <laughs> and let's go upstairs and see the etching. No, I said, I'll cook you a nice meal. <laughs> and you said, I don't want to see your etchings, but I'll eat the chicken. <laughs> so that was lucky. Um, so we've got the lemon, we've got the peppers. We're also going to tonight have some vegetables with it, some potatoes, some sugar Sugar's. snaps some um, carrots. carrots. What we're going to use is this lovely little gizmo. Which is a little bit bigger than your one. Much bigger than mine. Yeah, I was under exaggerating. Um, and I did bring mine, but it's in the van. Yeah, so I said bring it just in case we needed more space. Yeah, but I, I didn't realise, I underestimated the size of my mum's um, cooking steamer. utensils. Yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to, uh, there's an order of this. I'm not going to film all of it because no. it's going to be uh, a nightmare here, but we're using your mum's kitchen, yep. which is a fully furnished kitchen. Oops, ouch, sorry, a fully furnished kitchen. Look at that, with a sous chef. Mummy, that one. No, you can't have any more, Joe. Have that other half then. Otherwise, you won't eat the chicken. <laughs> Not that you're actually going to have any of the chicken, I don't suppose. Well, I'm going to offer it to. Are you? Yeah. So what we're going to do? It's very. Hang on, let me come around here where the light is. Well, there we are. It's much lighter. <laughs> we're going to. GoPro marinate video. the chicken. No, we're not. Yeah, no. We're going to marinate the onions. No. We're going to get the lemon juice out of the lemon. Yep. We're going to yeah, roast means... the sweet peppers. We're going to marinate the chicken yeah. once it's been par cooked in the lemon juice. Mm -hmm. We're going to use a bit of stock to add to it. And then we have vegetables on the side. We're going to do all that in the frying pan, not the vegetables. And then at the last moment, we add single cream, not married. Not engaged, <laughs> not divorced, but single cream, and and then we dish it up, and everybody gobbles it, gobbles it. 
So hopefully we'll go and do all of it and we'll show you a shot of what it looks like at the end because I think it would be bedlam to try and yeah. film everything. Because yeah. I know that, that your mum and dad are quite hungry. Yes. So we've got to get on with it. Yeah. So your time starts. Joe? Joe? Ready? Your, your time starts now. <laughs> was a very successful meal very tasty I do like that lemon chicken absolutely gorgeous and it went down very well and everybody enjoyed it which is superb you can't ask for better than that so uh, Julia is now washing little Joe and I'm just getting a few things that I need to do sorted and we'll see what tomorrow brings morning. It's the next day. I've been staying down last night with Julia at the caravan. Went down to make sure she's okay and um, obviously to see her and she seems to be fine. Um, I'm up early. It's Today is a Thursday. I've got to race back at lunchtime. I've got a chin wag to record, a naked Englishman to record. Tomorrow morning I'm up early in the morning to go and meet up with Tim, who is going to help me help my son Billy, who has a leak in a sink um, in his flat. And Tim's very kindly offered to come and help. So. We're going to have a quick shuffle at that tomorrow early in the morning. I thought today, um, because I like to get up early, I couldn't lie in like uh, Julia can in the caravan. She gets very tired, obviously, because of looking after little Joe and her other child. I thought I'd just have a little stroll up to the top of where her parents lived and see if the convenience store is open um, because I want to buy some eggs. I gather that some time ago oh that's a powerful sun this area was um, all of this were strawberry fields and that strawberries were grown here part of the southern England's market garden I guess and then were shipped up at Fratton to London and places like that during the season now of course they've pretty much all gone although I gather they'd still grow some strawberries here 
but of course as you can see most of this is uh, houses right let's get up to the uh, convenience store and see if see if they're open it's um it's only seven o'clock in the morning so i'm rather hoping they will be I got my milk and I got my eggs. So I'm going to have eggs and um, some coffee, and I'm going to make the lovely Julia. Good morning. And you got your lady. I got my lady in the van. <laughs> the lady in the van. Mwah. Good morning. Good morning. Yes. So. Good morning to you and you and you and you and you, but not you. Oh. And no, he was naughty. Oh. He's going to have a spank bottom if he's very lucky. Good morning, anyway. Oh. Uh -huh. So um, we're gonna have. Um, I'm gonna make up some eggs in here because I didn't want to disturb your family in your house. And I love being in my van. I'll make you a drink. And then, as it is so nice, look out there. Whoa, Bing! Um, I thought you took me to a place called Titchfield, Titchfield, Titchfield Haven. Haven. Yeah. A haven being down on the coast. Yeah. Yeah. Where. The little canal thing comes out, I believe. Yes, it's where Titchfield oh. Canal actually comes out to, and um, and there's a bird sanctuary there. And yeah, and yeah. then then there's the, the estuary, beach. is it? Yeah, uh, yeah. So we're going to go and, down and the beach. And the beach. And we thought, uh, as the weather is still, if we can get Joe up and ready, we'll take him as well, and then um, we'll fly the drone, Yay. which should be nice, and get some drone shots of this local area. Hmm. Hmm. Um, so right, I better get the kettle on and um, get my eggs going. Do you want any eggs? Um, I, I'm going to have boiled eggs. No, no, no that's you're fine. not an egg I, person. Are you? No, I, I need to get myself a, an egg scrambling kit for camping. Yes, that would be good, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah. I need to make a little need, jug, a little whisk. I need to make a list because I want to get some knives. I want to get a second set of steamers for the van. Yeah, so you don't have to keep so I don't going. Keep, yeah, nicking stuff or forgetting, that's the thing, because I've got that nice sharp knife, but it's really my home knife, mm. so I need a selection of knives here. I was about to make a stupid suggestion. Oh, can't you get those collapsible ones, but those are colanders. Oh, I thought you meant collapsible knife then. No, no, no. <laughs> but I suppose you can get collapsible knives, can't you? They're pen knives. It's true, it's true. <laughs> but I meant the um, steamer. <laughs> Release the little beast. Release the beast. Just making an assessment. It's actually quite windy. It's probably too windy for the drone, which is a shame. There's a strong breeze coming this way. We might be able to give it a bit of a try, see how it goes.
I think Joe's enjoying himself. Yeah, he always loves coming down to the beach, running on the shingle. He loves the sea, doesn't he? He, he does. loves water. He is a water boy, yeah. So this is um, Titford, Titfield. Titchfield. This is Titch. No tits involved here, <laughs> unless they're flying overhead. Titchfield Haven. I'm trying to get that joke. The tits, blue tits. Oh, oh. Big, you know. <laughs> They often fly, they're birds. Yeah, I thought you were insulting the pilots and things. I was like, what? Oh, well, there might be a few tits flying overhead in aeroplanes. Brain's not engaging for <clears throat> yet. No. So, um, yeah, this is uh, this part is... of the estuary. Is it the Solent? Yes, yes, this is uh, Solent. Is that, where's the Isle of Wight? The Solent is there. Isle of, that's the oh, Isle of Wight right is there right directly in front of us. Oh, okay, cool beans. That's cows, I believe. Yes, yes. No, that's Joe. <laughs> beyond Joe. Oh, beyond is Joe. The water, and then there's cows. I don't know how much <laughs> they'll see on the GoPro because it's not a it's long true. lens, but we'll it's give true. it a whirl. I've just remembered that we came straight out. It's actually pay and display, and uh, I imagine they're quite tough. Uh, holiday time, so I need to go back quickly. Bung a ticket on the van. I don't know how much it is to park there. Well, we managed to get some lovely drone shots, hopefully, up there looking over the Solent. So now Julia is going to get little Joe up. Just remind me then um, what we can see from here. Well, from here to our far right, there will yeah. be Wars Ash. Okay. Beyond that Hamble, the River Hamble entering the Solent, then the other side of that we've got um, Southampton. Um, and that's the power station, is yeah, it? Yeah, Forley power station. Uh, cow shots around there somewhere. Then there's the New Forest and Bewley in there somewhere. Then you've got a stretch of the Solent. The Needle's just around the corner down there. Right. And then I think that's Ride. I can't remember where Ride is, but that's, that's the Isle of Wight. So they yeah, bang off to us, yeah. 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 That's cows there. Yeah, on the Isle of Wight. From the Needles onwards is the Isle of Wight. And then somewhere around there we've got uh, Queen Victoria's... Um, house. Yeah, house. And, and then, then over that way we've got Portsmouth. Oh, sorry, Whoops. falling down <laughs> this rocky face. Yeah, and then we've Portsmouth. got Portsmouth down there. Brilliant. Which right, we might get a better look at from We'd better keep an eye on Joe, wouldn't we? Yeah. A lot of people with um, telescopes on tripods filming across, um, are filming across the Solent to the Isle of Wight. We just asked them if there was something going on. I didn't know whether it was like Cow's Weekend or something, a load of sailing boats, but he said he was just looking at the terns. I'm not quite sure what he means by that. Are they, presumably they're birds, are they, terns? Well, that's the only thing I can think of. Yeah. Come on, Joe, we're going to have a look at the lock. Mum, we're going to see all the rushing water. Oops. And the rushing water, it's going to be very exciting. Assume the, this is the sluice gates, then not really a lock, but sluice gates which lets the uh, the river Titchfield, is it? The canal? Um, is it the water? I can't remember what the, what the actual stream river is. Oh, oh right. Dad, I, from memory as a child, I thought it was a lock here. Ah, yes. Ducks. Meanwhile, back at the van, this is why I love having the van, um, get the old kettle on. We saw um, a VW. Yeah, transporter. Transporter like that's... Two of them. Yeah, that have been adapted into camper vans. It's just great seeing other people doing the same sort of thing. And there are a lot of bird watchers here 
Um, but it's just lovely and every time you just have a bit of a nose and you think, oh, you've done it that way. I love seeing how everyone does all the different layouts and the different things and it's just fantastic. It's, 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 yeah, it gives me ideas because all of mine can be changed very easily if I wanted to. Mm. It's interesting, the VW had their seats at the back here which clearly pulls this way to make a double bed. Mm -mm. But then that means they lose this seat that I'm on here but behind where I am they'd have a unit for their cooking and stuff. It so, also means that it reduces the use of the back doors, doesn't it? Yeah, I love coming in and out the back door um, and I love having the back door open to get the airflow through. Mm. So uh, anyway, um, I, left, I left the uh, milk back at your mum, so I'll have a black, black coffee. coffee. You'll have um, lemon tea? Lemon tea. All righto, lemon tea. We have it here. Fantastic. Thank you.